The Platform Solutions and Emerging Business Division of Autodesk delivers the product foundation for most Autodesk offerings across multiple markets. We're going to find out exactly what that all means with the Senior Vice President for Autodesk Platform Solutions and Emerging Businesses, Amar Hanspal. Amar, welcome into tomorrow. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks, Dave. It's a pleasure to have you with us. First of all, tell me a little bit about what I just said in introducing you. What is it that you that your department actually does with Autodesk? Yeah. So, I mean, we uh, build software, and our software is used by lots of customers and lots of markets or lots of industries, but what's common about them is that what they do with our software is design buildings, design machines, design roads, design bridges. And uh, so one of our products, AutoCAD, is synonymous with the whole computer-aided design industry, and that's what my group is best known for. But in addition to that, we build other products similar to it that are used across lots of markets. And, of course, AutoCAD, as I understand it, already having learned last hour on the show, been around for like 25 years mm -hmm. or so. And I think a lot of people, perhaps a lot of our listeners, may not be aware of the company behind AutoCAD right. is Autodesk. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we started in 1983, actually here in Vegas in Comdex. And it was the, the dawn of the PC industry, you know, when PCs were just still early on. And people were looking for software to run on those PCs. Mm -hmm. uh, people came up with word processing products. People came up with spreadsheets. And what we came up with was computer-aided design. And we were one of the first and most successful companies to come up with something. And it just spawned a whole industry around us. And there's a whole lot more than just a piece of software to do a job. I mean, this is, like you said, not only a whole industry has been spawned, right. but incredible amounts of people that are using various Autodesk programs to do all kinds of cool things. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think one way to understand what we do is, you know, you read about uh, green tech or, you know, making a greener planet. And it's really our customers who are solving those design problems. I mean, you take a building and you want to reduce the amount of energy that a building consumes. Well, that's essentially a design problem. And what people, our customers do to try and figure out how to use less electricity in a building is, you know, try and figure out ways in which the buildings get positioned so that there's more natural light coming in, so you need less artificial light. Those are really design problems, and what they do is they Unless use... Unless you're working the night shift. <laughs> Unless yeah. you're working the night shift. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, and then what they do is they use the software to try and figure out the best positions and things like that. Yeah. It, it is, I think it's truly amazing the amount of networking that goes on here at Autodesk University, right. and mm -hmm. I think it's a good example of how, no doubt, your, your folks use a lot of what your customers bring up Right. in designing the later versions right. of the, all the various yeah. software because now, like you said, it does so much more. Yeah, I mean, I think this, is, this event, for example, is a real win-win. We have millions of customers around the world. We have yeah. probably 10 million users around the world, right? And so to bring 10,000 of them into one place is learning for us because we hear from them what's going on in their world, what problems they're trying to solve, what they need from us. It's also learning from them because for them because they learn from each other. Mm -hmm. They hear... You know, I'm an engineering company doing this, and I'm an engineering company doing that, and then I can compare notes and say, well, if I did what you were doing, I'll be better off. And so that's the win-win situation here. And I imagine some of the cool things that you can come up with are how someone will design a product or, or, or a better product yeah. or something of that nature, and folks can use that same sort of technology to design something totally different, mm -hmm. serving a whole other purpose, mm -hmm. but because they got together at something like Autodesk University oh. and brainstormed, they said, this is now making our lives so much easier. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think there's all these industries have certain approaches and what works in one place can be applied somewhere else. I mean, again, I'll use this example of uh, people have been uh, manufacturing. You know, you think of manufacturing, you think of steel being cut. But yeah. well, when today you look at buildings, a lot of buildings are manufactured too. A lot of the components, all these strange looking buildings that get built, they're actually pieces of it, you know, like a jigsaw puzzle are built in machine and then assembled on site. Those are examples of how one industry learns from another and through events like this. And as you mentioned earlier, Amar, Autodesk, of course, has grown dramatically over the 25 mm -hmm. years from more than just AutoCAD, though mm -hmm. that is still a very right. important element. There must be some favorite examples that you can share with us about some products or some infrastructures or something that uh, Autodesk played such an important role. I mean, what are things that jump out at you more than anything? Well, I think something that everyone will understand is, you know, when you go see Spider-Man or you see Bolt, <laughs> uh, a lot of the special effects in those uh, movies they're done using software that our company has built. So a lot of the animation and all those you know, cool-looking images are done using products like Maya and Max that our company 
has put forward. That's sort of the most widely understood, yeah. you know, examples of I what love people and, do. And is this some of the same uh, software that is used on TV shows like House and CSI yeah. and when they're going into the body, for example, <laughs> or, you know, down the trachea or whatever? Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Yeah, I That's think it's cool. like that. Yeah. And then, you know, when you can go down the trachea, you can do go down the building, you know, so I think people, you can there see, you know. here's an example of something that's fun and entertaining, also being used in a professional way. Sure. Let alone the advantages of, of training in medical uh, fields exactly. and things of that nature. That's right. Now let's talk about a lot of a lot of stuff going on, of course, in, in 2D and 3D. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about what your group is working on in three-dimensional design. Mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. You know, I think, I think it's about making 3D really easy. And a lot of us are much more comfortable, you know, drawing something on paper than sculpting something in three dimensions. But, it, you know, these days computers have become really clever and really quick. And so what my group is working on is using all that speed and power of the computer to make, uh, help ordinary people like myself actually do uh, three dimensional designs with, you know, just a, a very natural way of, you know, working with uh, objects in a computer. I think as a senior VP of Autodesk, you're far from an ordinary person. You're doing a lot of very cool design things, but also it sounds like some of the great software that's available these days now is really helping designers and engineers also become sculptors and yes. artists in general. Yeah, right? I, I do think it's a, I, someone used this expression, it's about liberating the inner Monet inside you, right? I mean, <laughs> I it's it. a little bit of, you know, yeah, you're trying to bring creativity back into uh, into the everyday mundane task. I think a little bit of engineering Engineering sometimes sounds very mathematical, very technical, yeah. but I think we are bringing the fun back into uh, designing with uh, some of the stuff we're you doing. You certainly are. Check out Autodesk.com for more of what Amar and his team, among others, are up to. And, of course, we'll have links uh, on all of our, uh, for all of our guests on our site at intotomorrow.com and graveline.com. Thanks so much for joining us on the program at Autodesk University. My pleasure. We're back with more from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.